Welcome to Oahu Warrior Gymnasium, and we have a couple of great games coming your way today. It is starting off with the girls' basketball team against the uh, Blue Jays of Ashland Greenwood. And uh, gentlemen, tell us a little bit about what you've seen so far this tournament. Can you tell us a little bit? Uh, so far in this girls' tournament, I think there have been some very close matchups between our Wahoo team. Their last game went into overtime with Malcolm. Yeah. I know uh, after the to get here, I have no idea how close that game was, but I'm sure it was a good game, and I think these are two good teams today that we'll be seeing. Right. Well, we're going to take a look at the uh, starting lineups here in a moment, but it looks like we'll be getting ready for the national anthem right here as we uh, go in. So. the national anthem and we are getting ready to play some basketball right here on Saunders County Online as well as Wahoo Area Public Broadcasting Wahoo's Public Schools and so we're bringing the mics down just a little bit. There we go. So are you guys ready for this? I think we're ready. Alright. So let's uh, talk about the starters starting off with the Blue Jays. So we have Number 10, Paige Comstock, a senior at 5'6". Also a senior, Jita Laughlin at 5'7". And a guard, Raleigh Craven at 5'8", 11th grader. Olivia Pike, a senior at 5'11". And then number 24, Lauren Gertz, number 24, a senior. Now we turn over to the starting lineup for your Warriors. Number one, Sydney Smart, a senior, 5'6". We also have a sophomore, Aaron Holliday, at number two. A senior, number 23, a Losterer, a senior, and at 5'8". And Atlanta Hintz, a senior, at 5'9". And uh, number 32, Gracie Fairbanks at 5'10", a junior. So uh, we are getting ready. Gentlemen, this is going to be a lot of fun, and we need to be able to bring this uh, to everybody. And it's just yeah, so we're trying to make sure the camera keeps going here for some reason. So uh, getting ready for the tip-off. Sometimes cables have issues, so we will keep this going as we uh, continue on here. We'll find a different way and make sure that uh, maybe as breaks or something, we'll switch something around. So 
Right now we have uh, uh, Lana Hintz versus, I'm sorry. Gracie. Wahoo, Gracie, okay, Gracie was able to do the tip off. Wahoo has the ball, the rock at the top of the key, brings over to the near side to Aaron Galladay. Aaron Galladay sends it into the middle to Ava Loster and ends up turning over the balls on the ground and we have our very first jump ball. And it looks like with the uh, jump ball, the uh, arrow goes over to the Ashland uh, Greenwood Blue Jays. They toss it in and time to bring it across to mid court on the far side of the court. Toss it in and uh, try to drive underneath but uh, not able to get a good handle on it. And with a good recovery, Wahoo is able to send it out forward. Sydney Smart has the rock coming across the center court to the top of the key, setting up the offense. Looking to move to the left and then drives in, back into Sydney underneath the hoop, but brings it back out to the far side. Tosses it in and under the hoop with a toss in. That's uh, Lennon. Uh, Ava Loster with the first two points of the game. Ashlyn Greenwood now getting across midcourt with pretty good pressure. Got to kind of walk, got away with a walk there, but uh, able to send it to a far side and a shot from the three-point Judah Laughlin not able to make it and recovered, but now Wahoo is able to uh, receive the ball and get it back across the court. Sydney Smart again with the ball, passes it over to Ava Loster, hands it over to Aaron Galladay, back to Sydney Smart to the far side. Sydney makes a move underneath, that drives in, puts the layup in, and gets two. Four to zero with 6.19 in the first period left. Pretty good three quarter press of coming from the Warriors as the Greenwood sends it to the far side, trying to get help and sends it inside. Picks it up and sends it all the way across the court to the near side with a three-point look, but tries to drive in. And sends it back out to the top of the key to the far side. <coughs> Underneath the key, a pass, and then loses grip on the ball and goes out of bounds. Turnovers to the Wahoo Warriors. Aaron Galladay sends it in to Sydney Smart. Sydney is uh, now bringing it across to the... Uh, Blue Jays not as uh, tough on uh, off defense at this point in time. To the far side, hands it over to Sydney Smart, who drives and then tries to pass it, but ends up going off of, out of bounds off of a Blue Jay. Throw in by the Warriors. Lena hits, sends it into Sydney Smart. Sydney Smart looking to set up the offense, sends it right underneath the basket to Aaron Galladay. Aaron gets it out to the outside. And Again, tries to get underneath the hoop. Pass it in. Back out to Aaron Galladay at the top of the key. To the near side with three-point look. And picks up the ball after a dribble and sends it over to Ava Loster. Ava passes it over to Sydney Smart. Sydney sends it all the way across the key to Lana Hintz, who tries a three-point. Not Does not able to get that in. It bounces out, and Blue Jays receive the ball and come over to the near side. Try to get it underneath, but Wahoo with really good defense at this point in time, trying to send it across, and with a really hard pass, not able to handle the ball, turns it over out of bounds to Wahoo. Four to zero, four to, uh, 447 left in the first period. Thank you for joining us. Austin McNorton not able to be here today, so unfortunately you have to listen to me. Man, the... But uh, we'll do the best we can. He is in Lamaze class. So oh, he has twins on the way for anybody who didn't know. So he will be here later for the boys game. At the top of the key, uh, sends it over to the far side. Sydney Smart drives and picks it up, hands it off to Ava Loster. Ava sends it over to Aaron Galladay, who drives in, sends it all the way across the key to uh, Sydney Smart. Sydney at the top of the key, three-point shot up, and it hits both sides of the rim back out. And a long throw by the Blue Jays, who tries to get it in underneath the basket. And is able to get a layup right there for Raleigh Craven. Was able to get the first two points for Ashland Greenwood. 
Sydney Smart sends it over to the far side to Aaron Galladay. Aaron off to Ava Lasso. Sends it to the near side back to Sydney Smart. Sydney get, trying to set up the offense. Drives a little bit further in. And a three point shot for Ava Lasso. Goes in and drains that three point. Seven to two. Full court press for the Warriors as the Blue Jays are looking to get across midcourt. They were able to send it in and pretty open. Uh, and a two point shot for Olivia Pike for the Blue Jays. Four to seven, seven to four. Wahoo is leading. Wahoo Sydney sends it over to Ava Loster who sends it all the way across to Gracie Fairbanks and back to Sydney. Sydney Smart moving him back out towards the top of the key, drives in underneath and tries to create a pass, but sends it back out to Josie Larson. Josie sends it all the way across to Aaron Galladay, who sends it back out to Josie. Josie with a three-point attempt, bounce over and recovered by the Blue Jay. Pick it up and they try to send it in and send it forward. It's a three-point attempt by the Jays is good. And that was Judah Laughlin able to get that put in. Ties the game up. Sevens with 2.34 left in the first period. Sydney Smart sends it to the near side as we see uh, gets back over to Sydney over in the near corner. Back out to the top of the key. We have Ava Losher sending it over to, let's see, who, who do we have there? Gracie Fairbanks. And we end up having Josie Larson sent to try to drive in and take a attempt a shot a layup, but gets fouled. So we have the first free throws of the game. Two and two right here. 7-7, seven, seven, 2 12 left in the first period. The Warriors versus the Blue Jays right here on Wahoo Public Schools YouTube channel. First free throw is good. And Saunders County Online. Thank you to all of our sponsors. You can see them in the upper right-hand corner. And again, can't do the broadcast without them. And of course, the gentleman here from the Mr. Myers video production class. Second free throw is bounces out. The Blue Jays pick up the ball and send it across the court to the near side, setting up their offense. Throw it all the way to the far side of the key. Try to drive in, pick up the ball, get it underneath the basket, but a layup not able to go in. And the Warriors are able to pick that off and get back onto the offense. Eight to seven, Wahoo is ahead. A tight game. We knew this was going to be a pretty tight game. Sydney Smart sends it off to Aaron Galladay, who comes to the top of the key. Passes back over to uh, Lana Heights. Lana sends it into underneath the basket. And with a open layup. We see that Marley Glock was able to uh, take advantage of the positioning and uh, get two in and take the lead. So the first turnover the lead, Wahoo eight and the Blue Jays nine. That's a quick break. We'll come back in just a few seconds right here on Saunders County Online. Very If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all. Welcome back to uh, Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium as the uh, the Lady Warriors take on the Blue Jays of Ashland Greenwood. It's a minute 25 left in the first period, and the uh, Blue Jays are ahead. Of the first they just uh, received the lead for the first time, uh, eight to nine. Wahoo with possession of the ball as they. Come across the court, uh, led by Sydney Smart. Sydney at the top of the key, look, setting up the offense, sends it down underneath for Lana Heinz. Lana sends it back over to Ava Losher. 
He drives and puts a layup, but it's a little bit too hard. Again, uh, Ashlyn Greenwood looking to really get ahead of the, with a big throw into position, but didn't have the numbers to be able to outrun. Outrun the Blue Jays. And now we have a foul. Uh, so Lauren Gerds from Ashland Greenwood is able to uh, get, re get the foul. First foul for Wahoo. So a throw in from the far side. Straight underneath with an easy layup. And now Ashland Greenwood leads by three. Eight to 11. With a low percentage toss right to underneath the basket, Blue Jays were able to intercept and then be able to get into position. At the top of the key, Paige Comstock sends it over to the far side to Marley Glock. Marley back to Paige for the Blue Jays. Looks back to the coach for a play. The offense is you know, trying to set things up. Back to the far side and then bounces it back over to Paige Comstock. Paige. Sends it back over to Marley Glock. Marley trying to drive over the far side with a long throw across the key. And then underneath to Bree Shuffle, but uh, not able to get anything out of it as Wahoo is able to get the ball and tries the very long shot at the buzzer. And that's the wrap up of the first period. Ashland Greenwood leads Wahoo 8 to 11. We'll be back in just a moment right here on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Schools YouTube. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanke.com. First Bank of Nebraska. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces At its Medicine history. Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly, consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy. Welcome back to Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium. It is the Lady Warriors taking on the Blue Jays for Ashland Greenwood. Starting the next eight minutes uh, before the halftime, it's the second period. Warriors looking to uh, be able to get back into the game and uh, with a three-point attempt Aaron Galladay is not able to get that one in and uh, it was recovered by the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays looking to be able to get inside sends it to the near side of the key drives underneath with a layup a little bit too hard and the rebound is on the ground and a lot of people on the ground and then what's going to happen here is that consider a jump ball it is a jump ball and so then that stays to the arrow stays over to ashland greenwood ashland greenwood with the throw in sends it out to the far side setting up their offense last time they did that they just threw it underneath and they to drive in and Miss, at this point in time, they were able to miss the handle on that, and Sydney Smart drives in, gets the, gets the two points, and fouled, so a chance for a three-point play. Nice drive in, and being able to, under pressure, make that happen. So we have a potential three-point play for Sydney Smart right here. The free throw is up, and it is good. Ties the game, 11 and 11, 7-13 in the second period. Ashton Greenwood with the ball as they send it back over to Paige Comstock to take it across the center court line. Trying to set up the key. Sydney Smart is really get, trying to get the hands into there. A lot of pressure from uh, the Warriors, and 
We see that Lauren Gerds tries to send it underneath the basket, but a little too hard, goes out of bounds. Turnover to the Warriors. Sydney Smart now with a rocket getting across the center court line, setting up the offense. Sends it to the near side as we see it passed over to Gracie Fairbanks. Gracie Fairbanks back over to Sydney Smart. Sydney looking for help and sends it over to Aaron Galladay. Aaron tries to pass it in, but fakes and gets it back out to the near side to uh, Ava Loster. Ava Loster tries to get it inside, but turns it over to the Blue Jays. But uh, Sydney Smart getting in place and being able to steal, and with a nice stop move. That was uh, Lana Hintz being able to get that layup 13 to 11 with the new lead so this is the second third lead change for this game now the warriors ahead and with a pass over to the far side not able to connect judah laughlin was not able to keep a hand on the rock and goes out of bounds turns over to the warriors on the far side lana hits heights or hits 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 all right, so uh, that leads us to a timeout. We'll be back in just a few seconds right here on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Schools YouTube. Uh, Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Okay. Welcome back to uh, Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium as we have uh, girls basketball action. It's the Lady Warriors taking on the Blue Jays. Second period, 554 left, 13 to 11. Warriors are ahead with the rock as they try to set up and a, a blocked shot there. The Blue Jays are able to take over and send it down to the near side as they try to get it under the basket, but uh, too many Warriors in play. So they go ahead and send it to the far side and with a three point attempt, a little bit too hard, Warriors recover. Pass it over to uh, Sydney Smart as they get across the half court line. Sydney sends it right underneath the basket to uh, Aaron Galladay, who sends it back out with a drive in and a layup attempt. Not able, it was just a little too hard, then gets into the hands of the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays to the far side. Judah Laughlin at the top of the key sends it over to Raleigh Craven. Raleigh Craven back over to Ava Pike. Ava Pike looking to send it to the far side, but ends up coming back over to Marley Glock. Marley Glock picks up the ball, does one dribble, and passes it straight to the top of the key for Jada Laughlin. Attempted throw over, and we have a run, but not able to get that layup, but a foul against the Blue Jays. So that but it was after the shot, so it should just be a throw in. That's the second personal foul for the Blue Jays. So Wahoo with the ball. Time to send it in. Hands it back over to Sydney Smart. Sydney runs again and tries to send it all the way across to Lily Harris, who's not able to get the handle on the ball and goes out of bounds. Turnover to the Blue Jays. 13 to 11, 434 left in the first half. Blue Jays on the move across the center court line. Paige Comstock with the ball. Looking to set up the offense, picks up the ball, sends it inside to Ava Pike. Ava Pike brings it back out to Paige Comstock. Paige to the far side and comes back out with a drive in and with a fake, not able to get it to go in. Ava Pike turn, turns it over to the Warriors. Sydney Smart sends it to the near side as we have Josie Larson passes it back over to Gracie Fairbanks. Gracie Fairbanks with the, actually that was 
Josie Larson got the ball and sent a three-pointer up and good. Drains that three-pointer, 16 to 11. Warriors back in position, but not as uh, aggressive on the uh, defense as they had. Uh, sending to the near side and able to get a hand on the ball. And uh, with being on the ground, uh, trying to not move too much, but that was a travel, so it turns back over to the Blue Jays. Paige Comstock with the ball, looking to send it in, sends it all the way over to uh, Lauren Gerds. Back to Paige Comstock. Paige Comstock uh, sends it over to Marley Glock. Marley with the screen, tries to drive in, sends a layup up, and yeah. is able to get it in. 16 to three with 3.18 left in the first half. Warriors on the move. Half court press from the Blue Jays. Looking to send it in, uh, loses control, but sends it all the way across. With, and trying to take it up and do a try, to try to drive and take a shot. Joe Laughlin was not able to uh, get the shot, but got fouled, so she was able to shoot two. Two free throws on the way for the Blue Jays. First is up and hits. Three points to the rim out before it heads out. Sydney Smart back in for the Warriors. Here comes the next free throw. It's up and it rattles around before going in. Warriors back on the attack. 16-14, Warriors lead by two. 2.54 left in the first half. Gets it underneath, trying to drive and do a turnaround drive in, but a little too hard. Blue Jays with the ball. Paige Comstock sends it over to Judah Laughlin. Judah picks up the ball and looks for help. Picks up and try, tries to do a drive. He has a reach in. Lana Hintz gets fouled, and so that is the second foul for Wahoo this period. So it's... Two team fouls for the Warriors. Two team fouls also for the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays try to send it in, looking for a place to be able to get it. Sends it deep out to uh, Ava Pike. Ava Pike sends it back over to Paige Comstock, who comes back to the top of the key, setting up the uh, offense. To the near side, Marley Glock has the rock and sends it back over to Judah Laughlin, who tries to send it over, but uh, miscommunication. Wahoo sends it in and passes it underneath and looks like the Blue Jays gets their hand in place before it goes out of bounds. So a turnover, so Warriors keep the ball. 16, 14, 2, 10 left in the first period. Everybody's in position. Now we're able to get things rolling. Sends it right underneath the basket with a layup, and it doesn't go in. Comes out, and they call a jump ball, but the arrow goes over to the Warriors. So the Warriors maintain possession. That was a quick call, call on that jump ball. So, uh, Smart sends it out to Galladay, who sends it back. It gets it out to Smart to the top of the key. Tries to drive and sends it to the far side. Galladay, quick hands, be able to keep it inbounds. Sends it to the top of the key for Ava Loster, who sends it underneath. And then it comes back over to Gracie Fairbanks for a three-pointer. 19-14, minute 42 left in the first half. Keeping a strong full-court press on. The Warriors are attacking in, but the... Blue Jays are able to get underneath the basket, try to take a shot, but looks like Ava Loster gets a hand on the wrist, and uh, there we have a two point, uh, two free throws coming for the Blue Jays. For the Blue Jays, looks like his uh, Paige Comstock has uh, got the first one in. 19-15, four-point game. Minute 29 left in the first half. Second free throw is up. 
and bounces out. Warriors take control. Re it really is in the rebounds. It's been uh, where this game has been. Sydney Smart sends it to the far side to Galladay, and Galladay sends it back to the top of the key where Sydney start, sets up the, the attack. To the near side, Galladay is all over the place and, and tries to pass it. It goes off the leg of a Blue Jay. Ends up being a jump ball with a possession arrow onto the Blue Jay's side. So, blue turnover to the Blue Jays. Paige Comstock gets to throw it in. Looking to send it in a little deep over to Ava Pike. Ava Pike passes it over to Comstock. He gets it across down to... Judah Laughlin uh, back out to uh, Craven. Craven drives in, not able to get the ball to go in. Warriors recover and bring it to the near side. Gracie Fairbanks sends it, hands it off to Sydney Smart. Sydney sends it all the way across to the top of the key to, to uh, Galladay. Galladay drives in, sends it back over to Gracie Fairbanks who hands it off to Smart. Smart picks up the ball. Back to Galladay who sends it to the top of the key and from the three point of the free throw line. Go! Go! Not able to get that to go in. The Blue Jays Try to drive underneath the basket and take a shot, but get fouled. So another attempt for two more free throws attempts by Jada Laughlin. First free throw is no good. 19, 15, 12 seconds left in the first half. Warriors lead. Couple of players changed for the Blue Jays, we'll talk about those in a bit. Second free throw is up and out. And with eight seconds left, the Warriors on the way. Sydney Smart gets on, drives underneath, and is fouled. So there's definitely, that was a, the coach is talking about that that was an offensive foul with a shoulder, but uh, they stay with, you can't argue with the uh, officials. Hands off to Sydney, who attempts a three at the buzzer, does not go in, and we're going to the halftime, 19 to 15, right here on SaundersCountyOnline.com and Wahoo Public Schools YouTube. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out Wahoo online. State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo Clean home State happy Bank. from the Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion, made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars, which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy from the Chefs, Wahoo. They are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25,000. 
Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for investing a new- in you, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Providing Bank Providing legal Nebraska. services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402-443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications. We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. And Medicine Man is continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. At oil and South Haven Wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska based company, give them a call or check them out online. South Haven Wahoo.com. South Haven Living the Home Team Advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo we have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion, made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars, which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy. Your Dollar General is looking for you hiring all positions and all shifts they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2000 sign on bonus you can find details by going to dollargeneral.com/careers or by texting dg warehouse to 25000 must be 18 or older but again starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2000 sign on bonus contact them now dollargeneral.com/careers if you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402-443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome pharmacy, of a legal We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man, the family run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. 
Find them online at oopinkwahoo.com. Call 402-443-3563 or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years thanks to you. Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online. Southhaven-wahoo.com South Haven. Home Team Advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy from the Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy from the Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. Welcome back to the Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium. It is the uh, Girls Varsity Trailblazer Conference Tournament's uh, third, third place yeah. finish game right mm-hmm. because uh, both of these teams have lost so uh, they're playing for third it's uh, the Warriors Lady Wars versus the Blue Jays gentlemen what do you what have you seen in the first half and what do you think we will see in the second half I thought the uh, first four minutes for Wahoo defensively they were uh, very good some of yeah. the best defense I've seen from them all season and without two of their starters today I think they're right where they want to be with a four-point lead over Ashland I think if they can make some uh, layups that they miss Mm-hmm. They can be in a lot better shape, but that'll just come. Uh, if they put it all together again in the second half, I think they're going to walk out here with a win. I think the first half they kind of settled for threes more than going to the hoop, and I think Coach Flores probably like them to go to the rim a little more than they are. Okay. So I think we'll probably see that more in the Try second Try to get half. underneath yeah. and get those layups uh-huh. and everything, and then then rebounds. Yeah. That's a huge uh-huh. thing, isn't it? Uh, we did see a lot of, you know, I would say a key player, Sidney Smart, yeah. was really oh, kind of good leading the whole yeah. team at this point. But, of course, it is a team event. Uh, the We're starting the second half of the third quarter, eight minutes. Uh, just the Warriors throw it in, but a miscommunication starts things off. And so the Blue Jays are able to step in and recover the ball. Paige Comstock sends it underneath to Ava Pike. He tries to drive and then uh, does a layup, but able to recover her own layup. Still not able to get it in. And reaching in. A foul against Lauren Gerds. Not the ideal offensive start for the not, Warriors in the second half to throw that ball. No, away right no, away, not. But. And and then uh, I think both teams are kind of looking to be able to figure things out as they come into the second half. Hands it off to Aaron Galladay, who gets it across the center court line to the far side. Gracie Fairbanks sends it back over to Galladay. Galladay drives through the free throw line, back out to Sydney Smart. Sydney to the far side, gets it sent in and tries to drive it underneath and throws it underneath. The Blue Jays get a hand on it and sends it out of bounds. So throw in for the Warriors. Smart is tossing it over. It gets it out to Galladay, who takes a three-point, but a little bit off. And rebound by 
the Blue Jays come back across. So far, no points have been scored this first, the second half, the third quarter. We're just over a minute in. Driving in with a layup, but a foul. So Paige Comstock gets fouled on the layup attempt. So she gets to the two free throw attempts here. Paige Comstock. First free throw is up and rattles out. It's the third foul on Fairbanks. That is not a player you want to see leave this game with the size that she provides. Right, so Gracie Fairbanks with a third personal foul. That, that is something to really have to keep in mind. Second free throw is up and good. 19-16, Warriors with a three-point lead. First point of the second half for the Blue Jays. Hands it over to Sydney Smart who gets it across, drives it across, picks up the ball. And sends it all the way across, driving underneath, gets it back out to Galladay. Galladay hands it out with at the free throw line for a shot. And Galladay is able to recover, hands it back out to Smart, back over to Galladay on the far side. Passes it underneath and recover. So we have a foul uh, against Ava Loster, I believe. Turnover to first uh, foul for Loster. Do we have the Blue Jays sending it in full court press for the Warriors. Going to the far side, trying to screen, sends it back out to the top to Comstock. Comstock picks it up and brings it back over to Laughlin. Laughlin with a three-point attempt a little too strong. Trying to get uh, the ball, but uh, the Warriors get a hand on it, get it out of bounds. So the Blue Jays with a throw in. Officials are kind of discussing over, making sure that is the correct call. And so verified. Comstock picks up the ball, throws it in, straight underneath the basket with a with a 10-point, 10 10-foot 10 shot, able to get that in. Bring it within one. The Blue Jays now behind one. 19-18. Three-point run for the Blue Jays. Wahoos looking to get their first point of the second half. With a nice layup, a stop, stutter step, and get in. Sydney Smart for the first two points for the Warriors this half. 21-18. Sending it out. Try, trying to drive and with a double team ends up going out of bounds from Laughlin for the Blue Jays but they say the Warriors touched it last goes out of bounds so the Blue Jays get to come in Laughlin is out on the bench for a moment taking a breather throw in from Comstock goes underneath the hoop goes, has to chase after recover they have uh, Glock, Miley Glock, hands it over to Ava Pike. Ava Pike at the top of the key, goes to the far side, hands it off to Raleigh Craven. Raleigh Craven looking to see, picks it, starts to dribble, moves across, brings it over to Miley Glock. Miley Glock drives under, goes across, sends it to the top of the key for Ava Pike. And then driving in underneath, Raleigh Craven is able to do a layup and get it in. 21 to 20, Wahoo still in the lead. One point difference. Aaron Galladay tries to get it across and is able to uh, get it over to Sydney Smart, but Miley Glock with a drive in. Ends up getting a foul as she tries to lay up and a really Big disagreement, Sydney Smart saying no, nope, but second personal foul for Sydney Smart, and that is. Uh, so now we have Marley Glock with the attempt of two shots. 21 20 with the time potential cha lead change right here of free throws. Glock with the first. Free throw, it's up, and good, ties the game. 21-21. So, 
So in the game we have Addison Hancock for Wahoo. And I didn't see exactly who came in for the Blue Jays. You guys see who that was? I did not. Second free throw is in and out. Hancock was able to pick up the balls and hands it over to us. To Galladay. Galladay driving to the far side, picks up the ball, hands it off to Josie Larson. Josie Larson and it drives in. Atlanta hits, drives in, gets the two points, maintains the lead 23 21. Blue Jays send it all the way across and then send it forward to Raleigh Craven, who Holds on to the ball, sends it underneath to Lauren Gerds. Lauren Gerds gets, tries to send it back out. Wahoo recovers and sends it all the way down to the far side. As we have Josie Larson. Josie Larson hands it off and attempts to, to be able to get it, but gets re, the ball recovered. And with it. Three on one situation. There's a foul. Foul against uh, Molly Glocks. So uh, Wahoo gets the inbound. Second personal foul for Marley Glock on the Blue Jays. Looks like Sydney Smart's back in. Sends it over the top to Ava Loster. Loster sends it all the way to the far side. To Atlanta hits. Atlanta back to Loster. Loster sends it to the near side to Addison Hancock. Addison drives to the far side to Galladay. Back to Smart. Smart with a long throw. Back over to Hits. Ends up losing uh, the handle on the ball. And now the Blue Jays turn over because the possession ball, the possession arrow goes to their favor. 23-21 with 3.13 left in the third quarter. Wahoo ahead. Paige Comstock gets it across the top. And, uh, and Wahoo, uh, Sydney Smart, steals the ball but gets fouled. So that's a foul against the fir first personal foul on Paige Comstock for the Blue Jays. Getting to Santa Dan, Wahoo... Just before the throw in, the Blue Jays take a timeout. So we will also take a timeout. Come back in just a moment right here on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Schools broadcast. Dollars an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbankne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Okay, we'll come back. Welcome back to Wahoo Warrior Basketball. Lady Warriors taking on uh, the Blue Jays. 23-21, Wahoo ahead with 2.55 left in the third quarter. Third period, third quarter. When did that change? Anyway, back to the top of the key. Was, uh, Smart sends it over to Hancock. Hancock back out to the top. The Galladay does a drive to the near side. Hands it off to Loster. Loster back over to Hancock. Hancock underneath uh, to gets it back out to Loster. And shot is attempted and recovered. Sydney drives in, tries to take a shot, but gets an offensive Foul called against her, drives too hard, and turns over to the Blue Jays. That's the third personal foul for Smart. That's another. So we have two uh, Warriors with three personal fouls. So, again, got to be careful about that. Blue Jays send it over and uh, travel. 
Raleigh Craven uh, travels and turns it back over underneath the Wahoo hoop. Wahoo able to throw it in, really good position. 23-21, 2-21 left in the third period. Smart sends it out to uh, Losher. Losher picks it up, looking for help, sends it back over to Galladay. Galladay moving over to the top of the key, setting up the offense. Offense uh, sends it over to Hancock, the far side. A couple of hands in there from the Blue Jays. Hands it off to Smart. Smart back to Hancock. Hancock trying to drive to the near side. Is able, Blue Jays able to get a hand on it. Hancock tries to recover, but goes out of bounds and turn over to the Blue Jays. So at the center court line, Paige Comstock for the Blue Jays. Looks to throw it in to inbound it. Waiting for the officials to give us the call and say it's good to go. Sends it un in to Gerds. Gerds back over to Laughlin. Laughlin sends it back over to Comstock at the top of the key looking to create. And then Comstock leaves it to Craven. Craven looking for help. Back over to Gerds. Gerds drives in and uh, does a throw, attempts to take a shot, gets fouled. And now we have uh, two free throw attempts. Second personal foul for Ava Loster. It's the fifth team foul for the quarter. Minute 32 left in this period. 23 21. First three throw is up and good. 23-22. So Laura Gerds able to uh, attempt a second free throw. This could tie the game up with a minute 32 left in the third period. Free throw is up and it is out. Rebound by the Warriors. Warriors maintain the lead. 23-22. Top of the key, Smart sends it over to the far side. Back up to the top of the key for Smart, looking to set up the offense, starts to dribble. With a screen, sends it over to Galladay. Galladay picks up, picks, passes it out to Loster. Loster sends it all the way across to hits, hits back over to Hank, uh, to Smart. Smart hits it out and underneath the basket with a block. Josie Larson attempts a shot, but right there with a hand in it. Blue Jays send it out of bounds. Smart looking to inbound it. Sends it into Hintz, who back out to Larson. Larson passes it off to Loster. Sends it all the way across to Galladay. Galladay gets it underneath. To uh, Hintz, who takes a shot that's a little bit too hard, rebounded by the Blue Jays. 33 seconds left in uh, the third quarter. 23-22, a one-point game, and uh, really, it is all about uh, the offense, uh, the defense here, isn't it? Very low-scoring affair for sure. So, gentlemen, what are we seeing? What what should we be expecting here as we uh, kind of wrap up? So, it looks like. Uh, we have Comstock looking to coach to see what type of play with trying to take that last shot for the quarter, right? For sure. Three-point shot, and for Comstock, and that goes in, drains the three, puts it ahead. So we have a – that puts the Blue Jays ahead, 23 to 25. We'll be back in just one moment to start the fourth quarter right here on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Schools YouTube. Travel, work, customize your own way. One step. Have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. 
The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska. Welcome back to Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium as we are about to start the fourth quarter or the fourth period of the girls basketball go, Warriors versus the Blue Jays. We've had four lead changes so far and now the Blue Jays are ahead 23 to 25. Warriors looking to be able to make an impact and get that back, that lead back. Sending to the far side, Laura Hintz. Sends it on underneath, back over the lower, and attempts a shot, and gets fouled. So first foul of the period for the Blue Jays. Second personal foul for Lauren Gerds. So that's uh, two free throw attempts coming up, and the first one is bounces straight back out. Ashland's really trying to limit Sydney Smart's ball touches as she is getting face guarded now in this fourth quarter. They aren't even going to let her try to touch the ball. Yeah. Second free throw is up and bounces in. 24 to 25. Blue Jays send it in and pick up the ball. And there we have Raleigh Craven sends it forward to Paige Comstock. Paige Comstock looking to drive in, sends it to the far side. Three point shot. And it's just a little short, recovered by VJ, and able to uh, drive it in. So Warren Gerds is able to put that in. Sydney Smart for Wahoo passes it off to uh, is able to try to get a shot in and recover, but uh, not able to get it to settle in. It turns over to the Blue Jays. Paige Comstock picks up the ball, looking for help, sends it out to Ava Pike to the top of the key. Goes to the far side to Raleigh Craven. Raleigh Craven back over to Paige Comstock. Paige trying to find a place to be able to put it underneath. It starts to dribble and draws the foul as that's the first team foul for the period for Wahoo. And it looks like it is called against Galladay. Her first personal foul, first team foul. 24-27. Inbound for the Blue Jays. Looking to send it deep all the way out to Judah Laughlin. Back over to Comstock. Comstock with a three-point shot. A little bit too hard. Goes out of bounds, uh, out of the hoop and recovered by the Warriors. Smart driving in, picks it up, sends it off to the side of the Galladay. Galladay sends it to the inside, hands it off in as they drive in. Smart loses the handle. That gets recovered by the Blue Jays. Blue Jays uh, tend to the far side, all the way across to Laughlin. Laughlin tries to drive in, a little bit too hard, and we have a jump ball with the arrow going over to the Blue Jays. Twenty-four to twenty-seven, Blue Jays ahead. Sends out to the three-point, a little bit too hard, and rebounded by the Warriors. Warriors get it across the center court line. Smart sends it over to Josie Larson. Josie Larson back out to Ava Loster. Ava Loster tries to pass it inside, not able to be corralled by Gracie Fairbanks. Turns over to the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Send it deeper in, and goes over to Ava Pike. Ava Pike starts dribbling, gets across the center court to the far side, looking to be able to drive in, and got away with a walk there, but sends it back over to Comstock. Comstock does the drive, and is able to do a layup. Wahoo inbounds, and he gets it across. Smart gets it across with a behind the back pass over to Loster, Loster to 
Galladay. Galladay back over to Fairbanks. Fairbanks gets it in to a layup for Loster. Loster gets it that layup. 26 to 29. Blue Jays ahead. Comstock gives it across, sends it forward, and gets a pass all the way over to yeah. Roughlin, who is positioned under it as a fake, gets it up and in. 26 to 31. Warriors on the move. And looks like foul against uh, Laughlin. That's the first personal foul, second team foul. Wahoo is able to uh, inbound it in for Josie Larson is Lana Hintz. Inbounds it to Galladay. Galladay drives across the top of the key, sets up the offense, picks up the ball, sends it to the far side to Hintz. Hintz with a three-point shot, a little too hard, goes up. Rebound by Comstock for the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays get it across center court line. Comstock picks it up, passes it over to Glock. Glock out to Pike. Pike looking to drive in, sends it back. Looking, picks up the ball, is looking for help, sends it back over to the near side for Craven. Craven looking to drive in. Yeah. Attempts a shot, and gets fouled. Yeah. Well, and the foul well, goes well, on well, Atlanta well, hits. Second personal foul for Atlanta. Second foul for the period for the Warriors. 4.02 left. Wahoo trailing 26 to 31 for the Blue Jays. Free throw is up and a little too, a little too hard to back of, of the basket and bounces out. One more attempt. Free throw is up and bounces around, goes in. Wahoo inbounds it to Galladay. Galladay gets it across center court line to the near side, goes to the top of the key, sends it, passes it over to the far side. Ava Loster with the ball, sends it all the way to the near side, three-point line for Galladay, looking to find somebody inside. Hand on it by the Blue Jays, but gets it underneath to Gracie Fairbanks, who's able to get it up and in for the Warriors. 28-32, four-point lead for the Blue Jays. Sending it back out to Comstock. Comstock for the Blue Jays setting up the offense. Passes it over to Glock. Glock sends it to the far side as we see Pike. Starts to dribble. Picks up the, and looking for help. So back over to Glock. In the, oh, actually, I'm sorry, that's uh, Gerds. Gerds passes to Glock to the top of the key. Comstock back over to Pike at the top of the key. Sends it to Glock. Back to Pike. Trying to spread out the, the defense of the Warriors. Pike drives in. And pulls the foul. Looks like against Gracie Fairbanks, the fourth personal foul for Gracie Fairbanks. She comes out of play and is replaced by Lily Harris. Third team foul for the Warriors. 240 left in the game. It looks like there's a quick timeout for this is an equipment issue. I actually got some blood. So blood, and yeah, we can't have that. Lana hits. Has, looks, it's getting taken care of before we can continue the game. So Lanta sends gets back in. Blue Jays with the throw in and sends it out. Lauren Gerds 
Ron Gertz drives in, gets the two points. 28 to 34, six point lead for the Blue Jays. The Warriors try to send it underneath and gets all the way underneath a two point shot for Gertz. Gertz gets that in, now we have a, a timeout called by Wahoo. 30 to 34, four point game, 220 left in the, the entire game. We'll be back in just a second on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Schools. We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, OOP integrity. Propane is continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopinkwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. Oh, oh. Welcome back to Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium. It's the Lady Warriors taking on uh, the Blue Jays of Ashland Greenwood. 2.20 left in the game. 30-34 to 34 Blue Jays with the control of the ball and the lead. It's passed over to Comstock. Paige Comstock. Gets fouled by Galladay. Aaron Galladay creates the foul. Her second personal foul, fourth team foul. For the Blue Jays to get throw it in, Marley Glock. Patton does a pass over to Comstock. Comstock looking to get a move across the center court line, is able to do that in time, sends it back over to Glock. Glock. Back to the top of the key for, Gal uh, for Comstock. Comstock back over to Glock. Trying to spread out the Wahoo defense. A little bit of pushing, play on. To the top of the key, not able to hold on to it. Jump ball with a possession arrow going over to the Warriors. 30-34 is the score, Warriors Trailing by four, minute 49 left in the game. Lana Hintz sends it in to Sydney Smart. Sydney Smart gets it across, picks it up, and set, passes it in to Galladay. Galladay passes it, but it comes back over to Smart. Smart back to Galladay in the near corner. Three point line gets it in underneath to Lana Hintz. Or actually, I'm sorry, that's uh, Ava Loster. Ava sends it all the way across. Not able to uh, get that ball to go in. Rebound by the Blue Jays. Get it across the center court line. And it looks like we end up with a timeout. Blue Jays call a timeout with a minute 14 left. We'll come serving back. for 60 years thanks to you. Ott Oil & Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopinkwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Welcome back to Wahoo Warriors Gymnasium. It is the Lady Warriors taking on the Blue Jays of Ashland Greenwood. Minute 14 left in the game, 30 to 34. The Blue Jays are leading and with a possession. Blue Jays try to get it sent in with a drop pass. 
And with that pass in, looks like they've called a foul against Sydney Smart as Paige Comstock was out of, went out of bounds on the ground. So Paige with a two attempts here, a one on one anyway. First free throw is good. 30 to 35, five point lead for the Blue Jays. It's kind of hard to see through here if that was actually a foul or if that was just kind of what happened there. Couldn't tell. Looking through a bunch of people is hard to do. Second free throw goes up and good. 30 to 36. Wahoo with a deep pass that goes straight to Gerds for the Blue Jays, hands it off. And then Wahoo fouls uh, Shelf Door. Aaron Galladay does with her third personal foul. Bree Shelf Door is up for free throws. First attempt and bounces out. Stays 30 to 36. Minute six left in the game. Second attempt is up and bounces out. Called as a jump ball. Possession arrow. Gentlemen, what do you think on that one? That was a tough call. That was a tough call. I'm not, I'm not going to battle against the officials, but. I think the rule book states that there has to be a tie-up for longer than a couple of seconds. I don't know if that was a couple of seconds. That was, that, I, that, that's what I was going to say. It was a really quick call. Right. So the Blue Jays with the possession arrow. Comstock looking and timeout called by the Blue Jays. It's a full timeout, so we'll be back in one minute right here on Wahoo Area Broadcasting, Saunders County Online, and Wahoo Public Schools. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work. Welcome back to Wahoo's Gymnasium. It is the Lady Warriors taking on the Blue Jays right here. It's the consolation game for the Trailblazer Conference tournament that's been going on all week. Blue Jays ahead 36 to 30. With possession, they get it up underneath. Send it out to Comstock to the three-point line. And Fouls out. The Warriors are definitely working to make sure they're trying to stop that clock. Send Comstock to the free throw line. And that is for, that is the fourth personal foul for uh, Galladay. First free throw is up and Robert Brown goes in. 30 to 37. Second free throw on the way. It's up and good. 30 to 38. Blue Jays up by eight. So we have Sydney Smart looking to move around to try to drive in, gets fouled. And that's the first personal foul for Taylor Downing of the Blue Jays. Wahoo looking to inbound. Sends it to the far side with a quick shot. A little too light. Comes back out. And not able to rebound, but the Blue Jays able to rebound. And then another foul. 
And so that is Sydney Smart. Oh, no, wait. Gretchen. I think it was Ava Lostridge. Looks like they're putting it on uh, Gretchen. Is it uh, Gretchen Seeger? I don't even think she's in. I, think it was. I don't think she's here. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So, yeah, Ava Lostridge. I, I, I think so. There you go. There we go. First free throw is a uh, little light comes back out. 30 to 38. 50.2 seconds left of the game. It's up and good. For the Blue Jays, Lauren Gertz comes out. And Rigging Caving comes in. Wahoo gets it across the center court line, pass with a nice drive up for. Wow, that was a pretty. Sydney Smart with a really good drive gets in, gets that basket. 32 to 39. Blue Jays get it in, and first one on the scene to make that foul is Josie Larson. First personal foul. But it does send Marley Glock to the free throw line. Thirty-two, thirty-nine, and here's the first attempt, and it's out. Thirty-four point four seconds left of the game. Lauren Gerds comes in for Raleigh Craven for the Blue Jays. Second free throw, too hard, and the Blue and the Warriors recover. Sydney Smart again with another drive going in, gets fouled. So Warriors able to inbound. That was the fourth team foul for the Blue Jays. 28.2 seconds left of the game. 32-39, Blue Jays ahead. It's sent all the way around. Gets underneath for Galladay. Takes a three-point shot a little too short. Recovered by... And everybody's cognizant there of who has how many fouls. So it took a moment for them to uh, foul Kate Page. And so it finally, uh, Josie Larson was able to come in with uh, her second personal foul. First attempt is up and good. 32 to 40 puts the Blue Jays ahead by eight points with 18.6 le seconds left in the game. And the second one is good. 32 to 41. Nine point lead for the Blue Jays. Hence sends it over. In to Smart. Smart gets it across and drive, does a drive and goes oh, all the way. Yeah. And that would have been a, yeah, that was an offensive oh, foul right just right. running straight into the block. And that was a fifth personal foul for Sydney Smart. So the Blue Jays with 11 seconds left. Move the ball across the court. My guess is they're going to just kind of dribble it out, wrap up the game right here. Tough game for the Warriors. The Blue Jays come out on top, 32-41 in four. I want to say thank you to the guys helping out with the camera, with the computers. What do you guys think of the game? What happened? What, what uh, did you see here that just really transpired before us? Ashland started face guarding Sydney. It just we couldn't get any offense. And yep. Sydney's the main part of our offense, so we need to shut her down. Okay. And so yeah, getting the offense there, and then backing off on the defense. And one of the things I noticed is that towards the the end of the first half, the girls were really just kind of gassed. Yeah. They they were you could see them, you know, get, getting the trying to get air, and so it was an endurance game really, because it was that, and that shows it right there with a low score. So they were in it. They had the capability, but again, the Blue Jays come out on top. And thank you again, everybody, for being a part of it. Thank you, our sponsors. Thank you to uh, 
the uh, Wahoo uh, Warriors uh, classes and everybody here for being a part of this and helping us out. We will be bringing you the championship. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers.